Upgrade, directed by Lee Whannell, is a sci-fi film that takes place in the near future where a man named Gray Trace is paralyzed from the hands down. Gray is eventually offered a unique opportunity to walk again by having a surgical procedure that would place a new piece of technology called STEM inside his body. As STEM begins to grow and evolve both himself and Gray, he begins speaking to Gray as the two try to resolve some problems in the city together. As Gray becomes more invested in STEM, he tries to figure out the moral cost of doing so. Alright, so Upgrade was not a movie that I ever really intended on seeing. I think I watched the trailer one time in the theater just before some other movie I saw, I can't remember which one it is now, and I thought it kind of looked like a cheap, low-budget sci-fi film that would probably suck to be honest. But then as I was headed to the theater last night, I was trying to decide between a drift, which never really impressed me much, and Upgrade, which I saw had some really strong and positive reviews, which it continues to get now. I chose Upgrade and I'm really glad I did. Because Upgrade is what low budget sci-fi should be. It's immersive, it's familiar yet different, and it has a unique identity. Sci-fi is a genre that can oftentimes rehash previous concepts and ideas, and it would be silly to say that Upgrade doesn't do some of that, it does. But it does just enough of that that it doesn't feel like it's copying something else. It feels familiar, yet fresh at the same time. One thing to note though is that Upgrade is actually a decently violent film. It kind of felt like District 9 a little bit in terms of the violence you actually see on screen. But I have to say that the action scenes ultimately are pretty tremendous. And whenever Gray does get into an altercation with someone else and STEM kicks in, things just get pretty crazy pretty fast. The CGI work is really cool and so is the camera work, but there's also a clear transition point each time between Gray doing what he can and then STEM coming in and pulling off much crazier feats. As a whole, it's very high energy, very well choreographed, and it delivers those sci-fi and action thrills at the same time. The score is also excellent. The music for Upgrade was composed by Jed Palmer, and I thought he just did a really nice job of making the movie sound and feel sci-fi. The music has that futuristic ambience to it that makes the watch experience feel like you're actually in a technologically advanced future where technology has at least mildly drastically changed the world. It sort of reminded me of the music from Annihilation, but in the sense of its unsettling sci-fi vibe. I'd say the biggest weakness of the movie is probably the performances. They're fine, they're okay, but they're nothing to write home about. The main character of Grey, played by Logan Marshall Green, aka Discount Tom Hardy, which sucks to have as a name here, but he does look a lot like him. Regardless, he's fine. He does this weird like southern accent sometimes, and the other times he doesn't have it, so that's kind of weird. But generally his performance is serviceable, but probably one of the weaker elements of the film, as for the supporting characters, same deal applies really. They all have their moments, but the acting from the entire cast is fairly subpar, I'd say. There's just something about the performances that feel a hair off. Not enough to throw you out of the immersive experience, but enough to notice. But what I liked about this movie is the world building. It establishes what kind of futuristic society these characters inhabit, and it sets the ground rules for that society fairly quickly. Going back to the similar yet different point from earlier, Upgrade plays the similar tropes about the power and dangers of technology like other films before it, like a lot of other films before it, but what I liked about this specific story is how it takes place in a time of transition. It's not like everyone has this crazy technology at their disposal. A lot of the technology they have is what we have now, but the elites have access to special tech that supposedly enhances their lives. It's like a period of transition, and I like that because we can still feel like we're engaging with these characters in relatable ways in one sense, and very unrelatable yet cool and action-packed and fun ways in another. What's effective about Upgrade, though, is that it still feels futuristic, yet also grounded at the same time. It doesn't feel like a far-off fantasy world like Star Wars where you feel like you're going to an entirely different world. The violence doesn't feel filtered. And that's what happens in a movie like this that feels grounded in a near future sense of reality. I mentioned District 9 earlier, and I'd say that Upgrade is a little more grounded than that. There's no aliens and spaceships and super sci-fi stuff. This is more focused on technology and artificial intelligence. It almost plays like a sci-fi superhero origin story in a way, because the feats that Grey is able to pull off in conjunction with STEM working with him is pretty remarkable and pretty action-packed. So again, we're seeing a lot of mixing of genre elements here in a familiar yet different way. Ultimately, I think Upgrade is a thrilling, exciting sci-fi film that does right by the genre. It's not always perfect, it's not super high budget, but it takes just enough twists and turns narratively to hold your attention and keep you on the edge of your seat. As for the pros and cons, I thought Upgrade delivered a familiar yet unique sci-fi story, high energy and exciting action, very cool visuals, and an awesome sci-fi score. As for the cons, the performances aren't always so great and they kind of drag the movie down just a tad. 
Overall, I'm gonna give Upgrade a nine out of 10 and definitely recommend you go check it out if you're looking for a cool sci-fi film. This one is a good time, but remember it's R-rated, so kids should probably not see this one due to the violence. So did you guys see Upgrade yet? What did you think of it? And if not, let me know why not. And also let me know your favorite sci-fi film of the past five years. For me, it's either The Force Awakens or Arrival, but they're just so different it's kind of hard to choose. Either way, this is Wolf Oxification signing off. See you in the next video.